Hello everyone, if you guys don't know me already, my name is Rafael Romero and I'm a junior studying biomedical engineering and I'm coming to you today uh, running for Director of Operations. Um, as some of you may know, I've been in shift for quite some time now. I joined my freshman year right after the Valentine's Day auction. That was my first meeting I went to and this year that was, a, that was the auction year for it actually and I had a lot of fun. Um, but the reason I want to run for this position is because I want to get back to shift. I want to get back to the people that were looking out for me back when I was a freshman. I remember um, some of my mentors back then, Isaac Rigo, uh, people that grew up in my town were in this club and they were uh, motivating me to run for something and I actually did. And I ran for ALE vice president uh, coming into my sophomore year. And that ended up being a huge success. It was a big effort done by um, everyone in the e-board last year, uh, my partner, Mari Cruz, uh, it was an overall success. And uh, I just had a lot of ambition last year too, uh, that I ended up running for president. Uh, unfortunately, I ended up losing, uh, but that didn't really stop me. Uh, I'm still here, I'm running for director of operations this year. And I just wanna make a change. I wanna make a difference. And something that I was pushing forward when I was on the e-board was actually this position of director of operations because I just felt like there was a need for someone to be able to um, have some consistency with the role of being able to manage all three events, uh, getting the rooms done for all three events, and things like that. It just made sense that we would have to come up with this position, take away from ALE YLF, the YLF part, and just make it into one sole position. Um, a lot of that was um, on my feedback. So I feel like I can contribute a lot more to this role. I think Frank has done a really great job. Um, actually, he's done an outstanding job. Uh, fellow BME, a uh, real mentor to me and my peers, and uh, I just feel like he set the bar really high, and I feel like I could just raise it just a little bit more. Um, so going more into the questions that Frank set up for me, uh, here, let me pull them up real quick. Um, so the three questions I chose were, um, as Director of Operations, how would you keep track of helping plan all three major outreach events, Science Day, ALEX, La Familia? Uh, like I said, I have experience running ALE, and I feel like this position especially needs someone that has experience with those big events, those big uh, student recruitment events that just brings in students. I know some of you uh, attended last year or the, this year or the year before um, and just saw that it was overall success with um, ALE, so I want to keep that going. And with that being said, Uh, like I was saying before, sorry, my mom came for some chips. Um, I'll go on to the second question now about um, the director of operations is an integral part of the e-board who doesn't get uh, get the recognition that they deserve. How does this, does this bother you and why? Um, to be honest, no, it really doesn't bother me. Uh, I feel like I had my moment to shine back when I was in ALE and I had that whole event going and I was just running that stage, um, killing it, you know, uh, but I feel like that's a good experience for other people to have now, and I want to give others the opportunity for that. Um, for me, it's not about the income, but it's about the outcome uh, for the students that attend these events and the impact that we ha may have on them. I know um, I personally did not attend the ALE, but I know some people that did were like, wow, I didn't know if I wanted to go into engineering. I didn't know if I wanted to come to U of A, but this opportunity made them see that, yes, I wanna be here, I wanna come here, this is where I belong, and this is where I want to stay. Um, and so then the last question here for uh, this position is, Director of Operations is task-oriented and requires organization. What do you do to stay organized and on task? Uh, for me, I'm, I'm involved in a couple, several things. Uh, engineering ambassadors, um, I was a resident assistant in the dorms for the last few years, um, and I feel like a lot of that had to do with programming, organizing, doing a lot of time management. Uh, me personally, for time management and staying organized, I like to color code. I love color coding. Uh, I think that's the best way to stay organized and to keep that um, level of consistency amongst everyone else. Uh, some people that were on the e board last year and this year uh, know that I love the Google Drive. They saw that I like to plan everything, budget, schedule, um, just try to get everything down so the people that come after us are able to see exactly what we did and how they can improve on problem with some of the stuff we did. And just keeping that level of organization uh, consistent, like I was saying. Um, I know at this time that things may seem chaotic, that we were just uprooted from our lives. I know I miss being on campus, seeing you all, seeing my friends, things 
uh, all these things that I used to do, um, but just keep one thing in mind, uh, one thing that can stay consistent, vote Rafael Romero for Director of Operations. Have a great rest of your day, everyone.